Freedom Martial Arts is not liable or responsible to any person or entity for any damage caused or alleged to be caused directly or indirectly by information presented in this video. Please always consult first with a medical general physician before undertaking any fitness related program. These activities are designed for adult physiology and are not necessarily appropriate for children under 19 years of age. In addition, consulting a sports medicine professional regarding isometric exercises and suitability for you is recommended. Muscle soreness or pain incurred by activity is a signal from your body to stop activity and recover. Only resume your training program after you are free of pain and or soreness. Good day. Hi, my name is Aaron Richards, a certified martial arts fitness professional, and today we've got a video for you. It's kind of in a do along format. And this is dynamic stretches for the torso. So we're going to be covering all four major ranges of motion for the torso, front, back, and both sides. Okay? But also what we're going to do is start first with the twisting. Okay? And what this is known as is the torso twist. And primarily what is exercised here for this is the transverse abdominis. Okay? And this is often a neglected uh, muscle group that uh, is actually extremely important in providing lateral uh, and transverse uh, stability okay so what i usually do for all of these activities i usually do in and around 70 repetitions for both sides so if you're counting singles that's literally 140 okay and i do that for each activity okay so considerably the amount of repetitions is quite high but for me at this stage of my training i'm looking at building mostly endurance if you've already achieved the kind of range of motion that you're looking for personally for yourself, then usually in and around 30 to 40 is enough uh, for each side uh, for total repetitions. But again, for me at this stage of my training, I'm looking at endurance, so hence that's why the repetition count is quite high. The good thing about sitting down, as you'll see me do all four of these activities, is because it, at least the first three, is because it helps to isolate uh, my trunk from my pelvis. So this, this way, by isolating uh, my pelvis area so it's not moving, I can actually safely move to a greater range of motion for my trunk, which is what I'm trying to do, which is increase my flexibility, without, uh, or I should say, with significantly minimizing the risk of injury. Okay? If I'm standing it's act doing these types of activities, it's considerably easier to injure yourself because you are actually more prone to go beyond your comfortable range of motion. But by sitting down, you effectively eliminate that. And that's the good thing. And also, we get, saves our energy. Now we're getting into the side bend, and that's for the external and internal uh, muscle systems. Again, there's always going to be crossover in the muscles that are being used, of course, because muscles aren't isolated by themselves, right? But in terms of what the primary focus is, that's what I have labeled for you, just for your convenience and knowledge, right? So with the torso, uh, torso side bends, I actually use my elbows and I touch my fingers uh, behind my head, so I don't clasp my fingers because I don't want to strain my neck. I literally just touch my fingers. If you pause the video uh, while I'm in the full upright position, you can see the positions of my hands uh, behind my head. And all I'm doing is looking at bending to the side and that's it. With very little movement of my torso forwards or back. Just bending to the sides and I only touch my elbows to the mat. Again, primarily looking at achieving a maximum range of motion. So you want to take your time and again, high repetitions here, so 70 per side. Again, if you already are at the comfortable range of motion that you're trying to achieve for yourself, again, 30 to 40 is more than enough, okay? Again, take your time, go through it at your pace, not at my pace. Now, this is definitely one of the hardest uh, activities of uh, the four that I'll be doing uh, for today. Uh, just because it takes so long, it definitely uh, gets long in the time. Obviously, I gotta take a break. And I think through this whole set, uh, for the second activity, I think I actually miscounted here. Um, I actually, I think I did 10 more, 10 less. Um, you can prove me in the comments if you feel free <laughs> in terms of uh, what if I did it, uh, if I can correctly. But again, 
getting into the high repetitions because uh, my primary activity is uh, competing in uh, Shaolin martial arts and uh, full contact fighting. So endurance is really, really important as well as uh, comfortable mobility, hence the high repetitions. We have a gentleman just scrolling right through for that tool tip. <laughs> Forward activity, you want to make sure you're not bending uh, forwards. Again, I'm sitting down because it's easier for me to move my trunk without straining it, uh, especially without uh, straining my second uh, iliac uh, uh, or bench. If I can move through my maximum range with a high rate of speed, if I so desire, without straining myself or with significantly um, limiting the ability to form me to strain myself. And if it's just safer, just do it sitting down. Okay, we're definitely getting into a higher uh, realm here, so we'll be finishing off this one quickly. There we go. Okay, now I do take a pause between each activity, which you won't see in the, the edits here, but give myself an ample time to recover so I can get on to the next activity. So as you see here with number three, these are just front bends, and this is primarily uh, stretching our uh, erector spinae. Okay, or the group, the muscles uh, that are in the erector spinae group. Okay. There's a couple of different ways to do this activity. Me, you'll see here, I do have my back rounded, but I am keeping it a little bit more straight because I am trying to focus on stretching my hamstrings a little bit more. Okay, so I can get kind of the double uh, benefits or double benefit or the duplex benefit of doing this activity. And I really like to do uh, complex, uh, complex activities so then I can maximize my performance while minimizing the time I'm actually spending doing only one activity. Okay, now again, I do 70 repetitions for this activity. You can get through this pretty quickly, which is, uh, which is always a plus. But uh, to make this activity a little bit different for yourself, what you can do is actually round your back a little bit more. Bring your hands in close to each other in your chest, or just behind your head with fingers touching. That'll allow you to round your back a little bit easier with less emphasis on your hands. Okay, so it's a little bit different. But this is the way that I prefer. Again, do what's comfortable for you. Try and see and take your time. The good news is that, again, when we're sitting down, it's considerably safer. And if we were trying to do the same activity, standing up. Okay, great, we're all done. We're moving on to the fourth and final activity. Now, back extensions, yes, we're, we're stretching the rectus abdominis, okay? Ah, we get to lie down, take a little break, it's nice, it's the fourth activity, okay, again, I do about 70. On days when I'm going to be doing uh, more back work, uh, for example, if I'm going to be incorporating um, a uh, European style deadlift uh, into my activity for the day, then I'll do an easier version of this, of, uh, which you'll see. Uh, at the conclusion of this small, uh, this set of 70. And I'll do a very small set of the alternate version that I do. Because I don't want to tire out my back. So then I would do the simpler version on days where I'll be doing more work in and around my back. If I'm uh, doing it, if I'm spending a day where I won't have a much or as much emphasis on doing back strengthening activities, then I'll do this version, the current version that you see uh, of this back extension. All four of these activities I do as a part of my warm-up, including uh, the dynamic uh, uh, kicks for the legs. And I do have a separate video for that. So usually my warm-up takes total, including all five types of kicks and all four movements uh, for torso, usually takes about 30 minutes. Um, 30, depending on the day and how I feel, it takes maybe up to 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. Right, but usually a good 30 minutes for my warm, all my total warm-up activities at least. Okay. And these are for the simple activities. Then I start to get into more specialized activities as I carry on with uh, the type of workout that I'll be doing for later that day. Whether it's being um, working on my technique or working on strength for that day or working on endurance. Endurance is technically easier day than that. 
<laughs> so, this is the simpler version of uh, kind of the back extension where I keep my hands very close to my torso and just behind my armpits and I use my arms to push my torso up, you know, making it easier for me to stretch my, uh, my uh, rectus abdominis without fatiguing my back. Okay, now we've concluded our video for today. And thanks very, very much for watching, and feel free to tune into my other videos as well, and also see the annotations down below for access to more stretching uh, and strengthening resources. Thanks very much for watching my video today. Take care, train well, and we'll see you soon.